Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing evaluating algebraic expressions. So in evaluating expressions, we're just going to use the substitution. So we're just going to substitute the given value of our variable. So let's try our first example. Evaluate 5x minus 4 if x is equal to 2. So we're going to substitute 2 to our x. So we have 5 times 2, just change x to 2, then copy minus 4. 5 times 2, this is 10. Minus 4, and 10 minus 4, that is 6. Therefore, the value of this expression, if x is equal to 2, is 6. Next, number 2. Evaluate b squared minus 4ac if a is equal to 8, b is equal to 10, and c is equal to negative 2. So it's okay to copy the given expression b squared minus 4ac. And now let us substitute the given values. So our b is 10. Write this square, copy the minus sign, copy 4, then a is 8. So 8, c is negative 2 negative 2. Now, after substituting, simplify. So, 10 squared, that is 10 times 10, which is 100. Negative times negative, this will give us positive. Now, we have 4 times 8, that is 8, 16, 24, 32, times 2, 32 times 2, 64. Okay. Again, let us repeat. For a negative times negative, that is positive. Or we can say that 4 times 2, which is 8, 8 times 8, that's why we have 64. Then 100 plus 64, 164. This will be the answer. If A is equal to 8, B is equal to 10, and C is equal to 2. Now, can you try number 3? If you want, pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Evaluate the following for X is equal to negative 5, Y is equal to 7, and Z is equal to 4. For letter A, 2xy minus 3z. Copy 2. The value for x is negative 5. The value for y is 7. Minus 3 times z is 4. Now we have 2 times negative 5. That is negative 10 times 7. So negative 70. Negative 3 times 4. Negative 12. Negative 70 minus 12. Negative 82. Okay, that will be the final answer if we're going to evaluate this expression. If x is equal to negative 5, y is equal to 7, and z is equal to 4. Now, letter B. We have 1 half quantity 2yz minus 1 half quantity negative 2x. Substitute. So copy 1 half, copy 2, and our y is 7 then our z is 4 minus 1 half 
negative 2. Our x is negative 5. So copy one half. So 4 times 7, 7, 14, 21, 28 times 2, that is 56. Or we can just simply cancel one half and two. It will give us the same answer. If we're going to cancel that, the remaining is seven times four. And seven times four is 28. The same thing if we're going to simplify this. 56 divided by two, which is 28. So let's do the easiest one. Just cancel one half and two. Now, 7 times 4 is 28. Let's do the same process here. So, okay, since oh, we're just going to copy negative 1 half, then negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10. Or, if you want, you can cancel 1 half and 2 will give us negative 5. That is the same if we're going to simplify 1 half times 10. That will give us 5. five. Now for your final answer, 28 minus 5 is 23. That's on how to evaluate algebraic expressions. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.